So for some reason, this cat, her name is Gracie, we got her about nine years ago, eight years ago, and she has a, she has a bobtail with a tail, and at the old house, she was not cuddly at all. She was the, the wicked witch of the of the south, of the north, of the east, of the west. And we've moved to this house. And she is the biggest cuddler now. And all she's doing, she never purred. And all she's doing now is snuggling. And she's super happy. And I guess this is what you call good energy. And how it can affect animals um both negatively and positively we've always knew that she loved us but she's nibbling on my neck but th this is she's constantly um climbing all over us and she's happy she's happy right grace she's happy but she's ridiculously snuggly now and I can't seem to do anything without her <laughs> climbing all over me all of the time. So that's Gracie Mae. Happy as a clam in the new house. She's doing good. I don't even know what to do with her. She like leaps up on us and snuggles. And purrs. So if I got any animal communicators out there, you know, and we're and maybe we're interpreting this wrong, but she's pretty gosh darn happy. She's happy. She's a happy girl. You a happy girl? She's a happy girl. That's crazy. She's probably gonna do this again. We'll see if she climbs on me again. No. She's checking out a candle. I don't really like them on the counters, so I tend to kick them off, but I was going to see if she, she jumped on me. She's not going to. Hope you guys have a great day. Take care.